Hey, tech enthusiasts, welcome back to the Review Zone. And today, we've got something special, a close look at some of the best digital cameras on the market right now. Also, the best prices for each of the cameras will be in the description, so you don't have to look for them yourself. I don't want to waste your time, so let's start. The first one we have is a Sony Alpha 7 IV the latest iteration in the Alpha 7 series, succeeding the well-received Alpha 7 III from 2018. This mirrorless camera brings a host of quality of life upgrades, boasting a revamped menu system with touch navigation, increased dials and customization options, and a more robust build, all within a slightly larger body. Sony has also significantly enhanced the video capabilities, turning the Alpha 7 IV into a true hybrid camera. With its top-tier autofocus system and a brand new 33 megapixel sensor, this camera is a worthy successor and a compelling choice for both videographers and photographers. Now, let's talk about its performance. In the studio video category, the Sony Alpha 7 IV shines with a stellar rating of 9.3. Unlike its predecessor, it can internally record 10-bit 4. Two, two video capturing a wealth of color information for more post-production flexibility. The camera supports various log profiles, maximizing the dynamic range of its 33 megapixel sensor. It comes equipped with a comprehensive set of inputs and outputs, including a headphone jack, microphone input, and a full-sized HDMI port. Autofocus performance and video quality are top-notch, and Sony has significantly improved the menu system for quick and efficient adjustments. Plus, there's no recording time limit, and the camera's battery remains cool even at the highest quality settings. While the video battery life could be longer, the ability to use the camera while charging via USB is a game-changer, especially for those extended shooting days. Let's break down the pros and cons. On the positive side, the Sony Alpha 7 IV boasts a well-built weather-sealed construction, in-body image stabilization, and a vastly improved menu system. Its 10-bit 4-2-2 recording with extensive log picture profile options is a standout feature. However, the battery life during video shoots is slightly short, and it's worth noting that the 4K at 60 frames per second video is cropped. Now, let's weigh the trade-offs. As we conclude our exploration of the Sony Alpha 7 IV, it's evident that Sony has delivered a powerhouse for both photography and video enthusiasts. The improvements in build quality, video capabilities, and user-friendly features make it a standout choice in the market. If you're serious about your content creation journey, the Sony Alpha 7 IV might just be the tool you've been waiting for. The second one we have is a Panasonic Lumix S5 II, the successor to the already impressive Lumix S5. This full-frame mirrorless camera takes things up a notch with a new hybrid phase detection autofocus system, faster burst shooting, and advanced video capabilities. It's a remarkable upgrade for both photographers and videographers, especially those looking for pro-level features. Now, let's dig into the details. The Panasonic S5 II shines as a fantastic studio video camera, earning a solid 9.4 rating. It's equipped to record OpenGate 6K video, providing flexibility for cropping into different aspect ratios. The camera captures 10-bit 4, 2, 2 video internally, with no recording time limits in 4K. Additionally, it records 4K at 60 frames per second, albeit with an APS-C crop, and features a dedicated slow and quick mode for smooth slow motion recording. The inclusion of both a headphone and microphone jack, along with a full-size HDMI port, enhances its versatility. However, keep in mind that accessing raw video output requires an additional upgrade key. On the downside, there's noticeable rolling shutter distortion during quick panning movements. Now, let's break down the pros and cons. On the positive side, 
the Panasonic Lumix AES-52 boasts a sturdy weather-sealed construction, heat vents to minimize the risk of overheating, and the capability for 6K open gate recording. It's 4K at 60 frames per second and internal 10-bit 4. Two, two recording are standout features. However, there's a significant crop when recording in 4K at 60 frames per second, and the camera exhibits noticeable rolling shutter effects. Additionally, its design leans towards the somewhat heavy and bulky side. Keep these factors in mind as we explore this hybrid beast. As we wrap up our deep dive into the Panasonic Lumix S52, it's evident that Panasonic has delivered a powerhouse for both photographers and videographers. The enhancements in autofocus, burst shooting, and video capabilities make it a noteworthy upgrade. If you're serious about your visual storytelling journey, the Panasonic Lumix S52 could be the perfect companion. The third one we have is a Fujifilm X-T5, a mirrorless APS-C camera that marks a return to the photography-centric roots of the X-T series. While its predecessor, the X-T4, leaned heavily into video capabilities, the X-T5 takes a step back, bringing back the beloved three-way tilting screen of the Fujifilm X-T3. With a lighter and more portable body, it shares its high-resolution 40.2 megapixel X-Trans CMOS 5HR sensor with the flagship Fujifilm X-H2. This camera caters to those seeking the traditional Fujifilm shooting experience, complete with dedicated exposure dials in an era where the market is increasingly video-centric. Despite its focus on photography, the Fujifilm X-T5 surprisingly excels in studio video, earning a commendable 8.9 rating. It supports 10-bit 4, 2, 2 recording internally, featuring log profiles that capture a broader dynamic and tonal range. Additionally, it offers RAW 6, 2K video output over HDMI with a compatible external recorder. The X-T5 can record 6, 2K video, oversampled 4K at up to 30 frames per second, regular 4K at up to 60 FPS, and 1080p at up to 240 FPS in its slow motion recording mode. The video quality is impressive. With excellent battery life and effective heat management, you can even extend recording sessions using an external power supply via USB-C for those longer shoots. Now, let's break down the pros and cons. On the positive side, the Fujifilm X-T5 boasts a relatively portable design, excellent battery life, and internal 10-bit 4, 2, 2 recording in log. It also offers RAW 6, 2K video output to a compatible external recorder via HDMI. However, its ergonomics are just decent, providing room for improvement in user comfort. As we wrap up our exploration of the Fujifilm X-T5, it's clear that Fujifilm has crafted a camera that pays homage to its photographic heritage. Whether you're a photography purist or someone looking for a versatile hybrid, the X-T5 has a lot to offer. The next one we have is a Canon EOS R10, an entry-level APS-C mirrorless camera that finds its place in Canon's lineup. Positioned above the beginner-oriented EOS R50 and EOS R100, yet below the more advanced EOS R7, the R10 strikes a compelling middle ground. Packed with features like the advanced dual pixel CMOS2 autofocus system, a compact and user-friendly design, and an array of automatic shooting modes, it caters to both novice and experienced photographers alike. Verdict for shooting studio video with the Canon R10? An impressive 8.3 rating. This camera excels in capturing uncropped 4K video at up to 30 frames per second and supports 10-bit recording in HDR PQ, perfect for videos tailored toward HDR displays. If you can bear a significant 1.54x crop, the R10 also offers 4K recording at up to 60 FPS. Its autofocus system does a stellar job of tracking moving subjects, complemented by a user-friendly menu system for on-the-fly settings adjustments, even for novice users. 
While the internal battery runtime isn't extraordinary, the R10 allows you to run the camera off a power bank or external power supply with sufficiently high wattage over USB-C during longer recording sessions. Keep in mind though that the camera may face overheating challenges when shooting at higher resolutions. Now, let's break down the pros and cons. On the positive side, the Canon EOS R10 boasts a reliable autofocus system and 10-bit internal recording in HDR PQ mode. However, it's essential to note the noticeable rolling shutter effect, a consideration for those aiming for smoother motion capture. As we wrap up our exploration of the Canon EOS R10, it's evident that Canon has designed a versatile mirrorless camera catering to a broad audience. Whether you're stepping into the world of photography or seeking an upgrade, the EOS R10 has you covered. And finally, the last one we have is a Canon EOS R50, a versatile single lens reflex, SLR, style mirrorless camera tailored for beginners and those venturing into content creation from the realm of smartphone photography. If you're making the transition, the R50 stands out as the ultimate choice. With a compact body, user-friendly controls, and an array of intelligent auto-shooting modes, it serves as the perfect entry point into the expansive world of photography. Our studio video verdict for the Canon EOS R50. A commendable 8.1 rating. Although not geared for advanced videography, the R50 excels as an accessible platform for studio video. Despite lacking a log recording option for a wider dynamic range, it compensates with 10-bit recording in high dynamic range, HDR, perceptual quantization, PQ mode, ideal for videos tailored toward HDR displays. Keep in mind that its video battery life is somewhat limited, but you have the option to extend it using a power bank or USB adapter with power delivery and sufficiently high wattage. Unfortunately, it lacks a built-in headphone jack, but you can still connect an external microphone or an external monitor through available ports. Now, let's break down the pros and cons. On the positive side, the Canon EOS R50 boasts simple controls, accessible auto-shooting modes, and a great autofocus system. It also supports 10-bit internal recording in HDRPQ mode. However, it falls short in video battery life and exhibits a noticeable rolling shutter effect. Additionally, the absence of log recording might be a drawback for those seeking an even broader dynamic range in their videos. As we conclude our exploration of the Canon EOS R50, it's evident that Canon has crafted an affordable mirrorless camera that doesn't compromise on essential features. Whether you're a beginner, a content creator, or operating on a tight budget, the R50 offers a compelling package. As mentioned earlier, you can find the best prices for each of the cameras in the description, so you don't have to spend your time searching for them yourself. If you enjoyed the insights, hit like, subscribe, and tap the bell for more videos. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, stay connected and stay tuned for more tech insights.